Some homeowners in Taylor County are experiencing sticker shock when it comes to their property appraisal notices. KTEX's reporter Karina Hollingsworth has more on how property values are determined. This is a document of appraised value. This legal document shows how much properties are worth. The biggest concern for homeowners is, why is it so much? Give us a break, I mean. Relief is what many homeowners are asking for as property values are on the rise. The Central Appraisal District of Taylor County estimates an average increase of 15 to 20 percent in local market value for properties within Taylor County. Now, I'm not sure why they went up, but uh, they've gone up drastically. I've had the house for five years and it's gone up, oh, roughly 60 percent in five years. Gary Ernest, the chief executive officer of Taylor County Central Appraisal District, says local market value for property determinations begin in the neighborhoods. We're mandated by uh, property tax law to appraise all taxable property at market value and that those appraisals must be fair and equitable. Well, that's a legal definition, but our determination of what the values are begins within each neighborhood. So we extract sales from each neighborhood, we analyze those, and then we apply the analysis to all the properties in the neighborhood. That's the part of the fair and equal within the law. Homeowners have options if they believe their appraisals are incorrect. Ernest encourages homeowners not to wait and contact the appraisal office as soon as they notice a discrepancy. We encourage everyone to protest. First and foremost, you received a notice of value in the mail. Uh, within that notice of value, you would have a pamphlet on frequently asked questions. I encourage people to read that, to educate on the process, as well as look at the value and any homesteads that should apply or exemptions that should apply to the actual property. If they feel like the value is excessive or there's conditions that exist in their property or within the neighborhood that they think lowers their value, then they should contact us. Several ways they can do that, and that is through the email, and we're at taylor-cad.org. They can file a protest online. You can call us, or you can come visit us at 1534 South Treadway. The deadline for filing a protest is May 31st, or 30 days after the date your value notice was mailed. In Abilene, I'm Karina Hollingsworth, KTexas News.